Go CNN, cause my ass just had fun with sports ball. Okay, technically it's sports puck, but point being, I fangirled. Mr. Hero is a hockey team captain with an owie on his hip. Ari is his massage team therapist, but he hates being touched. Like, super hates it. Do you hear the fun? The conflict is just, ah. Yep, our OTP got chemistry, but not because the premise sounds like a porn plot, you know team captain and massage therapist. I watch way too much porn. Their professional dynamic means that the massage appointments never turn into play -dam. Plus, sorry plays keep away cause her psycho crazy ex has got her questioning her judgment. Most of all, she's a female in a male dominated profession and Gal knows it. A woman's errors are always counted differently. A fracking man. Preach it girl. I love her. And I love Patrick for respecting her no boys allowed policy. And I love the fact that he goes from beta testic friend to super protective hero, AKA her body god. Can we say catnip? This character driven internal conflict is my jam. Patrick's a big ball of fun. So being in his head and his perspective was just fun. Of all the dick moves Odal had witnessed, this one took the trophy. He hadn't responded because he didn't even have Twitter. He didn't tweet or twat or whatever. <laughs> I told you he was fun. I love him. Not least cause dude don't play no macho games. You'd think being team captain would mean he's all me man, me need win, sportsy sports. <laughs> Something like that. But no son. Patrick's focus is carrying the team. He doesn't want to disappoint his guys. And that's just straight up cracktastic. But the crack don't stop with him. Both of the leads get the good. They each get to be funny and real. Cause Ari, she's the shit. Her crazy ex don't got girl turning into no distressed damsel. Oh, and hero boy loves her for it. <laughs> Baby, you kill me. I swear to God, all I try to do is impress you and it's impossible because you're the most impressive person I've ever met. I'm so screwed. Aww. Ain't he the cutest mofo ever? That was rhetorical, cause the answer is duh. This OTP did things to my ass, my guys. I meant to say friends, but I said guys instead. Just how Patrick thinks of Ari turned me into a heart emoji. The moment he realized Vince and Ari were connected, a smarter man would have kept his distance. He wasn't a smarter man though. He was a smitten one. Convincing her he was worth the trouble was going to be an uphill battle, but he'd do it. He'd do anything for more of her attention. Mm. Y'all see why this boy has got me fangirl flailing? Dude does non-stop cute shit. It's like cute from left, right, center, and up and above. <laughs> Things like making a dumb Pearl Jam pun just to make the girl feel better. I melted like a hoe. That ain't no slut shaming, that's pride. His backstory plus his booty equals feel. Patrick tells Ari he crushes on her but even butter. He don't get all ass hurt when she says no. He is an anti fuck boy. AKA he don't get all pissed off over the friend zone, which is not a thing. You're either friends or you're not. I'm digressing out my ass again. <laughs> he is such a smitten kitten. He just wants to hang with her any way that she'll let him. Which is so cute. <laughs> That's where I'm gonna turn into Jigglypuff. There's such a beautiful dynamic between these dorks that you can't help but get shippy feels. I missed you, Mari. The only reason I spend time with you is because you're important to me. You're everything I want and everything I need. You already have my heart and I don't want it back. Oh, God dang dang, is there anything this OTP can't do? Nope, they literally do it all. Literally. No, 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 literally, literally, literally. This OTP is lit and by lit, I mean they on fire. Sex scenes give you a POV peephole that you just don't get elsewhere. Sex scenes also turn me into a flailing octopus. Like, hello, massage table. Holy blaze and panties, y'all. It was a thousand degrees hot. And not least because Ari was off the clock. 
How pathetic that I'm so fangirly over their professional dynamic. It's smexy times, but I'm just all happy about, you know. Mm. I don't even know what words just came out of my mouth. I'm just word vomiting at you. Point is, I liked it. But Hard Hitter didn't just give me a romtastic hero and smexy feels. What sells this book is the writing. Wow, the writing? Really? What the hell else is gonna sell it? The font? Oh, shut up. That moment when you talk to yourself when you write in your script. <laughs> My point is Serena does the goodest good with words. First, Gal put top-notch writing in her character's professions. And by top-notch writing, I mean the research. Hockey crap and anatomical musculature are real without being in the overkill territory. And the good shit don't quit. There was a kick-butt cis man's, a pee-your-pants climax. Hell, there's even an OTP that communicates. This thing did it all. An empowered woman rocked confidence. A sports hero was a beta hottie. Plot shiznit went down with real ass consequences. And bromances and cismances do all of the emotastic shit. I ain't necessarily a contemporary romance fan and I'm certainly not a sports fan. But Serena, you converted me. Bitch got needs, damn it. I love this book, guys, but more than this book, I am now on a mission. I am a slut for the secretary boss dynamic trope, cliche, whatever you want to call it. And the team owner and his secretary, I need it. I need it. I need, I need it now. Serena, why haven't you written it yet? You're hurting a fangirl over here now. It's not terrifyingly pushy at all. But the point is, the secretary gets to be like a punk rock chick instead of like the made up Miss professional and the team owner is all like you know clean cut and just kind of just so oh. I need that book if you have read Serena Bowen either this book or any of her novels tell me what did you think of them and what books by Serena do you recommend I know she had a recent new release but I'm kind of like leaning away from it because I don't really like second chance romances at all I know I am a terrible fan I sit there and be like I need more of your world building and your characters and then she has a new release and I'm like Pfft. hey I do fangirl in here I don't necessarily do like I think we found my tagline, guys. <laughs>